Hello and welcome. It's Bill Skladowski and it's time for another edition of iPhone Friday. Uh, every Friday, tips and tricks and news to help make using your iPhone and iPad uh, that much more simple and easy, explained in language that I hope everybody can get. <laughs> That's my goal, trying to make it easy for everybody. All right, so speaking of news, um, in case you missed it, the Apple WWDC, I always struggle with that, Worldwide Developers Conference was this week. Uh, as I record this video. And uh, every year at this time, Apple gathers geeks from all over the world and uh, shares with them what's, com what's coming up in the Apple universe. Uh, software updates, new hardware, things like that. And this year, no exception, lots of cool stuff, uh, including the uh, new update to iOS, which is, of course, the iPhone operating system, you know, the system that makes your iPad and your iP uh, iPhone work. And uh, they really showed some cool things about the uh, way they're going to allow you to modify like the home screen, like, you know, when you open up your phone and it has the clock and the date and the time and some pictures on it and stuff like that. They're finally, finally going to allow you to move things around and, and show pictures off even better and show some more information right there on the home screen. So really looking forward to that. Again, that's not until the fall and we'll cover that, of course, when the time comes. So anyway. Today, I thought I would talk about a couple of things. Uh, of one feature that I think a lot of people miss, and uh, it's really cool. <laughs> it helps you to get to things faster on your phone, stuff that you might use often uh, or that might be buried on the phone somewhere, something like that. So it's called the back tap function, okay? It's not tapping yourself on the back, although you will tap yourself on the back after you figure this out, but it's the back tap function. Let's uh, jump over to the phone here. And what it allows you to do is to start a couple of apps or do other things on your phone by literally just tapping boink boink on the back of the phone. I did that very gently because I don't want it to, to work just now. I want to show it to you. But literally just dunk dunk or one, two or one, two, three. Curious? Stay tuned for more. All of this, of course, is under our friend settings. So let's go to settings, shall we? And uh, tap on that. And then open up. Oh, I already had it open. Let's go back to the beginning, to settings. Let's start from the beginning. On the settings screen, <laughs> scroll down to accessibility. All right, that's the blue one right there. Now, accessibility, you might think, is folks with different abilities, you know, who might need help with some things that normal folks would do differently. I don't want to say normal. I mean, you know, differently abled people. Um, accessibility. So... There are a lot of things under accessibility that anybody can use. And this, I think, is one of the good examples of that, okay? So, you know, we can argue about uh, different abilities. All It's crazy. I don't like that stuff. I just like, here's some cool features that might help you use your phone better. I like that a lot better. So anyway, under settings, and then accessibility, and then one more tap on touch right there. So on touch, and then all the way at the bottom is back tap. See that? And I have mine turned on. Yours may or may not be turned on, so don't worry about it. Just if it's not, turn it on. And then when you go over to that, now here's where the meat of it really happens. And that is, what can I do with a double tap? Like I said, one, two, or what can I do with a triple? One, two, three, on the back of the phone. So literally, front of phone, back of phone. You know that, right? So if you don't have anything here on double tap or triple tap, you can tap on the double tap entry and it'll show you all of the things that you can do. So camera, control center, flashlight, home. I have mine set, if I scroll way down there, I have mine for open calculator. See that right down there, calculator. So you can do email, screenshot, take a picture, turn the volume up, you can, there's a lot you can do, okay? So just check it out. And then on triple tap, it's the same list. It's just pick something different, okay? So I have flashlight chosen on mine. So lock screen, take a screenshot, open Siri. That, that's a useful one. I like that too. But no matter what you choose, they'll show up here, all right? With double tap and triple tap. And then when you're back on your home screen or anywhere on the phone, it doesn't matter. If you have an app open, it doesn't matter. I, we're going to find out. I'm pretty sure of that. You and I will find out together. So again, holding your phone. And again, you can do it with one hand if you choose. You can do it with two hands. It doesn't matter, okay? So 
I, it's kind of weird the way I'm holding it here with the camera and everything. I hope this works for us. Let's give it a shot. I'm going to aim right for the Apple logo, but it doesn't matter. You can do it anywhere. So one, two, and flashlight. Oh, I think I did a three, didn't I? One, two, three. Let's turn that off. Let's try two. One, two. Calculator. <laughs> Open calculator. Thank you. Okay, good. All right, let's try the three again. One, two, three. Uh-oh, now it's going to make a liar out of me. One, two, three. Flashlight. Yay. And the good news is, you might have seen me do this. The good news is I don't have to hunt around for the flashlight controls. I can do it again. One, two, three. And it turns it off. Okay. So open calculator. One, two. And again, this is whatever you do is going to be specific to you. Right? So if I do two again, you yeah, know, it's already open. It won't close it. Yeah. It's going to say you want to open it again. All right. So remember, long story short, settings, accessibility, touch, tap back. And I'll put those in the notes. So that's how you get to it. And what you set is completely and totally up to you. Okay. So just find what you like. Like I said, if it's, let's go take a look at that list again, shall we? So you could do like the camera that might be, you know, if you, you take a lot of pictures that might be super helpful. Okay. And, uh, the lock rotation. I like that because I don't like it when the camera turns and the, and the, you know, the picture turns with it. I don't like that. Siri also very important or helpful. So there's a lot of things you can do there. So just pick whatever works for you, set it up here. And then I'll admit it takes a little practice sometimes, you know, all right. Is there a specific place I need to tap one, two, I uh, see that didn't work. I'm going to aim for the apple on the back just to try it. One, two, I don't know. Maybe it's a spot. I don't, I don't think so, but I haven't, like I said, I don't play with it a lot, but when I do, I find it very useful, especially the flashlight, because I'll be hunting around and, you know, trying to swipe on the phone or whatever. That's, that's kind of a pain. All right. That's going to do it for today. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Uh, if you haven't been there, ooh, look out. It kind of cut me off there. Let's move that camera up. If you haven't been there yet, I would invite you over to the new website to billsiphonetips.com, where we post all of these videos. So if you uh, haven't caught up on all the iPhone Friday videos or dun, da, 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 the brand new Monday minute photo, uh, videos where it's literally just a little one quick thing on how to do something that's, you know, helpful or useful or fun all in a bite sized minute or two. All of those videos are posted at billsiphonetips.com, just like it says. And when you're there, you can also sign up for our weekly free email newsletter. It's no fluff. It's no selling anything. It's any, nothing like that. It's just me saying, here's the videos that were out in the past week. And oh, by the way, if you have any questions, send them in. Okay. And that's the YouTube channel down there, by the way, as well. Uh, YouTube.com, uh, you know, slash C slash Bill Sklodowski takes you right to the YouTube channel. Of course, if you're watching this on uh, YouTube, that's not important. If you're watching this on some other social media outlet, usually there's a link right around the bottom there to click on and check it out. So again, thanks for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. And uh, if you have questions, do feel free to post them. We've already used some of our viewer questions for new videos, and that's great. I really love helping that way. Stop by the website, join the email list, and we'll see you next week for another iPhone Friday video. And be sure to watch out for the Monday Minute video as well. Have a great weekend. Take care.